Laos and the United States have recorded greater fruitful cooperation after the two sides elevated their bilateral relations. U.S. Ambassador to Laos Dr. Peter M. Heyman talked to our Lao National News team very recently that this year, 2021, Laos and the United States are celebrating the fifth anniversary of their comprehensive partnership and 66th year of diplomatic ties, with many greater achievements recorded. In 2016, former President Bunyang Wurrajit and then U.S. President Barack Obama agreed to elevate bilateral relations to a comprehensive partnership, starting a new era of cooperation when Mr. Obama visited Laos that year. This year, Laos and the United States are celebrating the fifth anniversary of their comprehensive partnership and 66th year of diplomatic ties, with many greater achievements recorded. Under the partnership, the United States is committed. U.S. Ambassador to Laos, Dr. Peter M. Heyman, discussed the past successes and future goals of the U.S. Laos Comprehensive Partnership. According to him, before becoming the U.S. Ambassador to Laos PDR, Peter Heyman first worked in Laos in 1997. And for me, um, next year will mark my 25th anniversary of first coming to Laos. And so coming back now, what has impressed me most and been very pleased to see is how broad the cooperation is between our two governments, how many, many areas we're cooperating in. And I believe that is due to the comprehensive partnership over this past five years. We asked what are some of the main pillars of the Laos-U.S. comprehensive partnership uh, so far. I'd have to say, uh, one is probably development assistance through USAID, and USAID really started its programs since the beginning of the comprehensive partnership. And now AID is providing assistance in health and education and nutrition and energy and business environment. And so far, the biggest cooperation and assistance project is likely to be the Unexploded Ordinance, or UXO, left during the war. Laos was heavily bombed during the Indochina War. Large areas of the country remain contaminated with UXO, which Lao officials say will take dozens of years to clear. U.S. assistance to help clear the deadly devices has increased over the past decade. Um. That is, I think right now, our single biggest area of assistance, UXO clearance. Of course, it's a huge problem through much of the country, and we are very supportive of helping the Lao government achieve its sustainable development goal of removing uh, UXO as a barrier to development by the year 2030. And when President Obama came to visit in 2016, he pledged a contribution of $90 million over three years, so about $30 million a year, uh, which we did provide those next three years. And what I think is also impressive is under the Trump administration and now under the Biden administration, the support has continued around the same level, showing the commitment of the U.S. government and people to helping the Lao government deal with this challenge. Um, we have assistance that helps with the clearance of the, uh, the unexploded ordinance that's still there. We have assistance to support the education so that children know what to avoid, what not to touch, uh, how to try to avoid an accident. And we do have assistance to help those who are injured in accidents, either a long time ago or more recently. We asked Ambassador Heyman, what is your hope or in which areas need to improve in order to be further strengthened and flourished for the mutual benefits of the two countries and sure, people? Sure, sure. Um, looking, my, my goal is to help round out uh, the partnership so that we are uh, cooperating, working together in every area that makes sense. Um, I think a couple of areas I would like to see us do more, and that's one of my goals during my time remaining. One is on the economic side. We are providing some assistance through USAID uh, uh, for the Lao government as it works on uh, reforms to policies that will uh, encourage more investment in Laos and help spur more trade and more exports from Laos. Um, I would like to encourage more U.S. companies 
to look at opportunities for trade and investment here and build that part of the relationship. One other area, um, as Laos develops and gets even more engaged with ASEAN as a partner here, and since the language of ASEAN is English, and the most used language internationally is English, there is a huge demand for English study and English learning among the Lao youth. And we do provide English instruction programs, but I would like to expand that dramatically if I can, or at least start the process so that in the future we're able to help many, many more young Lao persons master English and use that to create better careers for themselves and careers that support the development of Laos. Marking the fifth anniversary of Comprehensive Partnership this year, Ambassador Heyman also shared with us highlights of bilateral ties. Crisis. And for me, the last couple of years, highlights for me have been, I'd say, going out and seeing all these new USAID programs in the provinces, see how they're helping people improve their lives, school children eating meals, um, young children learning to read Lao when Lao might be their second language because they're an ethnic minority, or um, uh, a particular favorite for me was our new program supporting the UNESCO World Heritage Site at the Plain of Jars, the newest World Heritage Site in Laos, one that I have been a fan of for many, many years. And I'm so pleased that this past year we've been able to provide some assistance to make sure that that place, that wonderful place, uh, amazes tourists and the Lao people for many years to come. And then I have to say the highlight, um, it's been the, the chief challenge during my two years here is certainly the COVID epidemic. It was not expected. Uh, I thought I would be doing other things during this two years. But the challenge of COVID has also been an opportunity to show true partnership and uh, cooperation. And we are very proud of our cooperation with the Lao Ministry of Health and other ministries to provide assistance to the ministry directly or through UNICEF and the uh, World uh, Health Organization and to provide vaccines to help protect the Lao people. The year 2021 marks the 66th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Lao PDR and the United States of America. It is hoped that the friendly relations and good cooperation existing between the two countries based on the Laos-U.S. Comprehensive Partnership will be further strengthened and flourish for the mutual benefits of the two peoples.